Let me show you how to get up and running with an ESP32 S3 round touchscreen module in under 5 minutes. I have just recently got one of these and I found the setup process a little bit tedious so let's go through it together. Just make sure you have the Arduino IDE version 2 installed so you can follow along and upload code to your board. All the stuff I'm referring to is linked in the video description for you to follow along with. So with that said, let's get into it. Step 1. Setting up the project files. Head over to the wiki page and download the demo files from the bottom and then extract them into the directory you want to work from. Step 2. Install the libraries. From inside the folder you just extracted, go into the Arduino folder and then go inside the libraries folder. From here you need to copy these three libraries. Then head over to your Arduino libraries folder and paste them there. By default, this should be inside of Documents, Arduino, and Libraries. Step 3. Load up the demo code. Head back to the folder you extracted in Step 1 and go into the Arduino folder again, but this time, instead of going into Libraries, go inside the Examples folder. Then go into the LVGL underscore Arduino folder and inside here, you can see the lvgl underscore arduino dot ino file. This is the one we need to load up, so double click on it and it should fire up inside the Arduino IDE. Once you've got the code loaded in the IDE, scroll down until you see this section here where the demos are, starting on line 164. Here you need to choose the example that you want to load onto the board by uncommenting the relevant line. I'm going to go for this one. And now we are ready for the final step before uploading to our board. Step 4. Configure the board settings. Head over to the boards manager inside the Arduino IDE and make sure you have these versions of ESP32 installed. Again, make sure you have the exact versions mentioned in the wiki or else it may not work. Next, plug your board into a USB port on your PC and then go into the Arduino IDE and select that port. Once you've selected the port, you need to make sure that you tell it that you are working with an ESP32 S3 dev module. After that, you need to make the following changes under the tools menu as shown in the wiki page. And that's it. That's all the setting up done. We are now ready to upload. So go ahead and click the upload button in the top left corner and wait for the code to upload onto the board. This might take a little while to do, so please be patient and don't cancel it unless you get an error. All right, and here we go. This is looking absolutely amazing. It really demonstrates the capability of this screen and it's super, super impressive and responsive. And that's it. Now you can upload code and display it on your ESP32 S3 board. You can also make your own custom UIs using something like Squareline Studio to make really cool and amazing displays for your own projects. Alright, thanks very much for watching everybody and as always, please let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.